Hey everybody, welcome back to another drawing tutorial. Today we have a Patreon request from Slouchy Doggy. This is Angry Gone from Hunter Hunter. So when he's sitting in front of Pito and he's got like all that shading on his face and he's just in that seated position. So I fit in as much of his body as I can. I probably maybe not like the bottom of his boots. That's the only bit maybe I missed. Maybe top of his hair, but this is like nearly full body anyway. So requested by Slouchy on Patreon. So if you have a, I can't say specific, Pacific, specific request, head on over to Patreon and you can send me the images that you want me to do and I'll get right on it. So let's go Slouchy. <laughs> um, center point of my page is about here. We'll come up, start with his eyes, right? Use a pencil and an eraser definitely, okay? So he's real angry, right? So we'll do the eyebrows, because the eyebrows come over the eyes. So let's go. So we'll just tick a line up like this, and then down like so. And then we do something similar over the other side. So we'll go up and down. And this tick sort of down. So then his eyes underneath there. So these big sort of curved lines, they're like big sort of letter C's. So it kind of comes around like so. that but maybe like a little bit inside here as well and you can thicken these up if you want make them a little bit thicker right like so and then his iris is an oval inside so it's not a circle it's an oval and his pupil an oval inside there And then he's real intense eyes, right? So they have these um, iris lines, lines for the muscles on the inside of his eye. Coming around like so. And then we do pretty much the same thing on the other side. So we'll carve a line around. Like this sort of letter C and thicken up the top a little bit. little sort of hook coming out from the eye, maybe like here. And then his iris, an oval. Like that, and then his pupil. Just in there. So like in terms of distances between the eyes, you know, you're not really in standard human proportion, but you could nearly fit a full eye in between. So like, see the width of his eyes here, from this line to sort of this line just inside here, from here to out to here, will just about fit in between, nearly, right? But it's pretty tight, because in, in Hunter x Hunter, the eyes are kind of, exaggerated they're bigger but that's if that's a good rule of thumb this will kind of fit in between okay and if you can get that distance you'll be doing well for your proportion for the eyes let me add some of those intense eye lines just in there so his nose as far as i can see it's hard to see because there's lots of shading so i think it's just one of those sort of hook noses it just goes out and in like this. Like that, right? There's lots of black shading on it, so that kind of nearly disappears, but we'll um, we'll see what we can do with that anyway. We'll add the shading all at once. 
Okay, so just below his nose, then we have his arm. So, and then his head comes out of it, right? So we gotta just do a little bit of his arm before we do his face, because we can't actually see his face. So his arm comes across right underneath his nose here. And it comes down for his hand, this way. Okay, so this sort of curved line. Then his, his jaw will come out from here. up towards his sideburn there and then it'll come out for around for his ear it'll start to come out for the top of his ear right might as well draw it in while we're here so it's kind of a bumpy sort of ear it kind of lines up then with the bottom of his eye there and then jaw on the other side we can see a little bit more and then the side of his face comes up to his sideburn out for his ear down and into there and then you can add bones and ligaments and things on the inside so just these sorts of lines like so easiest way to do it I always say is like this sort of letter J right you can start it like that and then you can add more detail if you want okay so it's hair then so we got like these spike a uh, spiky sort of hairline it's pretty simple it just comes around to a V in the middle and you gotta get that V in the middle so this one and then the rest, just spike down to there. It's kind of like lightning or something. So then he has pretty big hair spikes that come all the way up. So we go, and then we go back in, and like a small one there, and then a big one, and a small one. And then a real big one in the middle. And it goes all the way up off the top of my page and comes back in here somewhere. So if you if you have more room for the rest of his hair, you can just bring that to a point just up at the top of his head. But I just can't fit that in. Right, so then small spike, bigger spike here. Small spike. And then relatively large spike coming down to his ear. Um, and then of course he has um, all that, so he's green on the edge. So you can draw you can draw this in if you want, but you don't have to. But you know, we just draw traced sort of these lines again. So you just go. all the way around just putting this green edge on the edge of his head and so like it's all black in, in here and green on the outside okay so, so we can't really see his neck. So we'll, we'll do this arm, we'll finish this arm anyway. So coming out from his ear here, we have top of his sleeve and this comes down to his arm there. And we might see like a little bit of his neck or something inside here. And then his shoulder curves out bicep curves out like so then his elbow sort of a square sort of shape there and then this goes down and it's sitting so his arm is sitting across his knee so it kind of bumps up a little bit here and then down 
right? Because his knee is like right here. And then this comes across, down to the palm of his hand, just there. And then we have some like extra sort of lines for elbow and forearm muscle lines here. So then that hand, so it's kind of a real limp sort of hand position, okay? So what we can see of it anyway. So it goes in here and then bumps again. This is like the palm of his hand. So then we have four fingers all coming around here, right? So we go the little finger first, so we go one, this is like curved up, comes down, in. I think we can see a fingernail here. And then another knuckle area up to there. And then knuckle comes up that way. So then the next one. down I think there should be like another knuckle here somewhere so one two three and then a fourth will come so we'll do this finger first so this comes here we'll just try and figure it out this finger comes out here comes around behind this one right and then this finger comes out down to there Curves around, and goes in around this. So that means the last finger, so the index will like come out from here somewhere. So it comes out there, back in, back around, underneath there. All right, and then what we can see of his thumb, back behind his hand, just the back of his thumb, just back there somewhere. And like bumps and knuckle lines and some fingernails. There, there, there. So, not bad. Right, so as I said, this hand is resting on this knee. So, this knee curves out and around there and then his shin on this side comes down like so then the other side of his leg comes down here that's like his thigh and then we have the inside of his leg here here and then like the top of his kneecap or something just like here and this goes into his boot so his boot just like on top here so then top of his boot here of the boot and then the side of the boot comes down just off the bottom of my page a few more room feel free to just get the bottom of his boot in you know if you google this image it comes up just right type in like angry gone sitting if you're if you want to like finish down here and it'll come up i just couldn't fit it in because i wanted to get his face in properly so then laces coming down here, like so. 
Right, so then his his shorts so kind of sticks out down down this way. And then it comes out down this way. And then we have his other boots here somewhere. This is like his calf on the other boot, just down there, right? So then his t-shirt comes down across and goes up behind this side. And then the other side of his leg comes across here. This is like the other side of his shorts. It comes down. Comes back in this way, and then his thigh on this side sticks out down, and then the inside of his calf and his knee there, and some more fold on his shorts. Center line for his shorts comes down. Here, some more folds and stuff there. Right, so his other shoulder and arm comes down this way. So, say like we can see just like his shirt here, and there's like some folds on it. There. So, right, and then his, his shoulder muscle here sticks out there. And then his tricep comes down here. And his bicep comes out just from these knuckles here. And another sort of shoulder slash bicep line there. And forearm on this side, out and down. Forearm on this side, out and down behind his knee. His hand is resting on the floor back there right and then we can see t-shirt line here and some folds on his clothing Right, so Slouchy asked me to add this shading, right? So the shading that's like on his face, right? So I'll start, let's see. Let me get the right Sharpie. So, so there are all these thin lines, right? So it makes them look sort of real intense. So I'm gonna add it. This is optional. You don't have to add this if you don't want, but it was requested by Slouchy. So, you know, if you're worried about us ruining the work you've done, because I know I am. <laughs> so like this kind of stuff, right? And it's like all over his face pretty much. So we just keep going. Sharpie, like a newer one or something. Bear with me. All right, so let's try that again. Yeah, so you're just adding these like quick strokes down around his face. Around his eye. Right, so it really makes, it really adds to the intensity or something.
So there's no real rule to this. You just kind of keep adding them until you can't add them no more. So I think, and the light is like, so the light come is, he's lit from behind and on the top, right? So there's a light behind him coming down here. So it's kind of like, there is some non-shaded parts like on the side of his face and top of his shoulder and stuff. You know, so you just sort of leave some places, sort of unshaded, no lines on them. There's very few of those places. Right, and like even inside his ear. everywhere. It like gives him this like really big aura or something that just like makes him look really intense. Yeah, it's like on his arms and everything. here seem to be like bigger lines. down his hand as well.
Yep, on his boot too. Right, and all on a shirt as well. Some places darker. So, like to make it darker, you just add like more lines, so more sort of hatching lines. So, like on the bottom of his, the folds of his shirt, make these ones darker. shorts it's everywhere maybe not like on the top part of his leg here because we have let me see yeah we have some light some some it's pretty much on most of his shorts here not kind of along the top.
this is definitely the boring part of the drawing. Okay, but that pretty much is it, I think. That is how to draw a gun, angry gun, from Hunter Hunter. Hope it was helpful, guys. Thanks for watching. Hope it was helpful, Slouchy. Thanks for the request. Head on over to Patreon if there's a drawing you really need me to do. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.